scourged why so the Jedi separate children from the f their families with family members are fraught with powerful emotions such extremes are to be avoided anger and hate are the worst but even love can lead to folly folly you aren't allowed to love emotional entanglements can be dangerous they can impair rational thought they can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion the Jedi must be above such things. Well, explains why there are never enough Jedi. You don't sound very convinced. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. You weren't on... Uh, who you weren't on good terms with? I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was hot. Uh, you never tried to get in touch with your father again? The child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. You sound very sad when you say that. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. Oh, we'll break down that icy, icy exterior eventually. She can't say no forever. And I'm supposed to go this way. It's all twisty and turny. Alright, Zerka guys, you are gonna be pissed. Which one do I have to talk to here? Oh, I gotta answer something, hold on. I had an alarm set on my phone and it was going off. I had my headset on so I didn't really hear it very well. It might have been going off for a couple minutes there. Greetings again from the offices of Zerka Corporation. Is this about bounties or something else? Um, I have get. Let's do the gaffy sticks first. I see that, but do you have the all-important chieftain's gaffy? That was what you agreed to get for us. Well, about that. Then I'll take those off your hands. But the real prize is still out there. Let's see here. Uh, we want to ask about our agreement. Yes, we're still waiting for you to return with the Sand People chieftain's gaffy stick. I'll reward you well when you do. We don't have any new information on the subject. It's still possible that they have an enclave in the far south of the Doom Sea. I've been there. I remind you that you did agree to do this task for Zerka Corporation. We expect completion in a timely manner. Uh, I may have. There may be a non-violent solution to this. I should remind you that you were not retained as a diplomatic representative. You are a hunter and should go after your prey as we agreed. You are not authorized to do anything other than deliver what was promised. Do so and don't talk of this foolishness again. Um. Farewell. Well, that's not good. Will you just give me some evaporators? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna ask about the bounties. Nope. I guess we can't. Um, what do you have available for purchase? Do you have any moisture evaporators? Hmm. Let's just say that's not really your concern, is it? <laughs> they only produce one model right now. That's pretty good. 400 credit? Yeah, they'll take it. Alright, so now we get to mosey on back. It's definitely a little bit of a walk, but oh well, it's not too bad. This game used to seem a lot more massive than it does now. It's still still a pretty excellent game, but I remember when I was playing it, the world just seemed so like incredibly huge, but it's actually like we're gonna be done with Tatooine pretty quick here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the stupid uh, racing or not. We do have to go out to the other part of the Dune Sea and deal with something. The part that it won't let me into yet. 
Oh, it's you again. I'll just let you pass. The boys in the office may need authorization in triplicate, but not me. Good hunting out there. Well, I, I like that guy. He's a little less uh, bitchy this time. So we can probably kill those stupid things on the that were out here. I see him walking way out in the distance. Draw distance is definitely a lot better on PC than it was on the Xbox. Eh, they're probably worth killing. Could use the money. I've been blowing a lot of money on droids and moisture evaporators and stuff. Alrighty. Whose corpse is this? Hmm. Well, let's see if we can, like, swing around the back side and maybe take one of the back ones out without the front one noticing. They're probably all gonna get triggered here, but yeah, especially because I have to actually go up to them. What can I Let's get HK. I do. Go, go, HK. Yes? Come on, HK47. Alright, you're being kind of stupid, HK47. I'm ready. Here. Are you freaking gonna shoot, man? What? There you go. Alright, we didn't get them all triggered, I don't think. That's a good thing. It's not a good thing that I forgot to turn on my shields and stuff, though. Because they are definitely doing a little bit of damage again. Oh, HK is almost dead. Stop shooting, HK47. I uh, didn't get it off in time. Damn. Alright, this this is going poorly now. This is going very, very, very badly. Um Come on. We can kill we can kill these guys. Come on, man. Bastel is almost dead. I can't even get her to heal enough because she keeps just getting like screwed up by these guys yeah, pretty too bad. Nice. Okay, that that helped. Sure. Come on, turn around. The combat in this game is a little bit wonky. I really don't remember having as much trouble in these fights as I am now. I mean I do remember these guys being kinda hard. But this is a little bit ridiculous. Let's get I, don't, I thought I told you to put on your shield here too. What? The force fights with me. Yeah, this is this is terrible. Come on, let's. The more we kill, the easier this gets, man. That is unbelievable. I can't believe we can't kill this one. There we go. Man. Alive. And I'm almost dead again already here. It's ridiculous. Oh, that one's knocked out. Go for that one. Oh, he's already not knocked out anymore. Never mind. Damn it, I'm like dead again. Insane. I need to get my defense up higher here or something, because this is just worse than it should be. And we also need to be fighting the same one, Bastila. Doesn't help if we split our damage yes, up. Bastila is dead again. I don't think I'm going to get through this freaking encounter here, man. Out of forceness here too. 